concert I went to see that off the top of my head would have probably been Queen. They played Chicago Stadium. I slept over and I was 15 years old. It was two nights at the stadium. The opening act was Thin Lizzy with Phil Lynott. What a great band, a wonderful tour. I was one of the lucky ones to be there. I slept outside, got my tickets. It was $5.50 to see Queen and Thin Lizzy at Chicago Stadium at 1800 West Madison. Amazing. Okay, and who was your biggest musical influence that made you want to be a rock star? Well, that's an easy question to answer too, because uh, Queen would probably be that. Although those are the, I can name a couple other bands, I I certainly love everything that happened over in England, uh, from Pink Floyd to Led Zeppelin to Queen to Matthew Hoople. Uh, the Sweet was a great band. Uh, you know, I've always loved Cheap Trick. American bands are terrific as well. Aerosmith. Uh, but probably the band started all off for me would probably have to be the Beatles and Paul McCartney invented my job. So as everybody knows, he's one of the greatest bass players and singers in the business. So I let's say the Beatles along with those other bands I mentioned. Awesome. And so tell us what you're going to be doing. What's your next tour? What's your next, next okay. thing going on right Great. now? Uh, and, uh, my next tour, the big tour. I'm on tour right now with the Bullet Boys. Uh, but the next big tour the one that you were telling me about earlier. We'll, yes, we'll come back one. here. Uh, it'll be a Live Nations tour. It starts in September, and we'll be coming through here. Um, and we'll be on tour in conjunction with the brand new Enough Snuff album, which is called Diamond Boy, and it's on Frontiers Records. Comes out September 14th. I hope everybody goes out and checks it out. So it's a picture of David Bowie and the Beatles fight in the alley, and Cheap Trick comes in and breaks it up. That's the new Enough Snuff album. Peace. Thank you.